Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look at orchestration. We'll start with a quote from the ServiceNow docs page. Orchestration automates simple or complex multi-system tasks on remote services, servers, applications, and hardware. An orchestration process can cross all management disciplines and interact with hosted services and all types of infrastructure elements. These capabilities provide a powerful system for managing IT and business processes quickly and reliably. All right, so let's jump into the orchestration use case. In this use case, we have DevOps Dave, who works in the company's development operations. He's a power user, so he has the ITIL role. And then on the right, we have system admin Amy who is the system administrator for the company's ServiceNow instance. So Dave's been hearing about the power of the Amazon AWS integrations with ServiceNow. He's finally got his team on board and would like to leverage ServiceNow's orchestration to integrate with AWS for server requests so he can cut down on the time it takes for his team to get servers up and running and tear them down. Dave starts by creating a template of variables that are required by the requester and sends these requirements to Amy. Amy creates a new catalog item with all of these variables. Next, Amy installs orchestration and configures the AWS integration so that requesting and maintaining an AWS instance is automated. Now, the DevOps team can request new servers from ServiceNow which will then communicate to AWS with the requirements and create the servers to the specs that they have requested. By automating this process, entire days, if not weeks, are shed from this overall process. This happens literally within minutes. All right, let's quickly jump to the scene. So both Dave and Amy will be working in the platform view of service now. All right, and now the who, what, when, where, and why. Who is the audience? Who is going to be using orchestration? Well, just like change and configuration management, IT will be the main audience here. Although it isn't uncommon to have people outside of IT request services that have been automated with orchestration. For example, orchestration supports password resets, which can be submitted by anyone within the company. What? ServiceNow orchestration is primarily administered through orchestration workflow activities. Next is the when. Orchestration is typically triggered by service catalog requests, but may be triggered by other events as well, such as scheduled jobs or other user input. Next is the where. Orchestration is typically maintained in workflows, and those workflows are attached to service catalog items. Then, of course, you have the other system that orchestration is communicating with. And finally, we have the why. So the why should be fairly easy to understand after examining the use case. The goal of orchestration is to automate IT and business processes for operation management. As we saw, orchestration accelerates service delivery by using defined templates. So we're automating a process that typically takes human intervention. This can cut down on a boatload of time. I have personally seen companies take what is a two or even three week long process and bring that down to minutes. So it's very powerful. And it's also fun from a developer standpoint. You're working with integration, so you're working with other systems outside of ServiceNow. It can be a lot of fun.